One, two, three, Samuel's Neighborhood in Numbers. This is Samuel's Neighborhood in Numbers book. This is Samuel's house. It has one mailbox, one roof, and one front door. But Samuel's neighborhood has much more to explore. Can you help him count all the things he sees? Here we go. One, two, three. Samuel doesn't travel very far when he sees two cars, two houses, and two leafy trees. Samuel sees three dogs playing with sticks. Three dogs could give lots of puppy licks. How many big windows do you see? Can you find any more groups of three? One, two, three. One, two, three. Samuel turns and looks up at the sky. Four fine feathery birds are flying by. Also five trees and flowers thrive. Count them please. One, two, three, four, five. Six children slide in on the merry-go-round play. Samuel hopes to go back to the park and play too one day. Samuel's Park. Wow, what a fun surprise. Seven jungle animals, Samuel spies. If you can name them all, you are very wise. Add one more to seven and you've got eight. Eight beautiful blossoms. Isn't that great? Nine children near the pond, each quacking like a duck. If you can count each duck, it may bring Samuel good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, counting the ducks did bring good luck. Samuel sees an ice cream truck. Count, count how many flavors are on the ice cream sign. If you counted to ten, you did just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you name ten flavors? Which do you like best? Tasting them all could be a really fun test. Samuel had fun exploring his town in numbers from one to ten. Tomorrow he hopes you'll join him to explore all over again. Samuel, we hope you enjoyed this story. The end. Samuel, try one of our other personalized books at firsttimebooks.com.